With Charles Davis, as always, I'm Brandon Gordon. And Charles, you talk about storylines in this one. I think it begins and ends with our two quarterbacks, certainly two of the best in the business. And nowadays, I don't think you can get by for long periods of time without a top-flight quarterback. The way the game is played, with all the responsibility he has and how the game flows through him, if he's not on the top of his game, your team's not going to benefit at all. Here's the former Auburn kicker, Daniel Carlson, to get this one started. And we are underway from Santa Clara. Taken from about the 12. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. Starts with a run by Allen. And he's got some space here. And he's going to get this down to the 35-yard line. 39 yards there, a big one. Opening quarter, his opening carry of the game, and I think they'll give it to him a few more times, as they should. You're exactly right about that. With that type of a run, you want to repeat it many times until they show signs of stopping it. I think he did his visualization exercise before this one, and they're paying off. And they're going to be set up down around the 15-yard line. It's another first down as this time they get an even 20. And he'll be taken down at the two-yard line. Another strong gain on the last two plays. They've moved it a combined 33 yards. A terrific opening drive has them knocking on the door. First and goal. They'll run. This is Allen. And this one will wind up with him losing yardage. Back to the four-yard line. It's a loss of a yard there, and it's second down. A tale of two extremes. First carry, he went for a bundle. His second goes backward. And how many times have we seen that happen? Because you get that big carry, and you come back, and you're all fired up, and sometimes you force a run a little bit, right? Trying to break. And it's caught. Touchdown. Debo Samuel from four yards out. And this offense takes the ball down the field and scores on their opening drive. Gold with the extra point, and it's now a 7-0 game. Now after the touchdown, here's Gonzalez on to kick it away. And here comes a return from a few steps into the end zone. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. now Ryan on first down and that one drops down incomplete good coverage there forced the ball free and it's second down my first thought is surprise because that's one of the better tight ends around and I've seen him pull in balls like this before but how about a little credit to the defense forcing that incompletion to throw again on second down Ryan this time for Smith, and it's intercepted. Ronnie Lott, the Hall of Famer with a pick. And what a return as he brings this all the way back down to the 20-yard line. And they'll take possession already in the red zone and in a great spot to add points to the scoreboard. And Brandon, how many times have we seen a defense with a lot of field behind them get even more aggressive, right? They put the gallery not pinned down, but in a favorable spot for them. And they took advantage of it there. Got a nice interception and set up their offense in great shape. Throwing on second and three. Brady. Again, it's Johnson. The six yards on the pickup, and it leaves him with a first and goal. And a good quarterback facing zone coverage. If he has just a little bit of time to survey the scene, that's what's going to happen. No doubt about it. If there's no pressure, he's going to continue to pick them apart because he'll have all that. And he'll take it into the end zone for a touchdown. Marcus Allen taking it in from seven yards away. And they are able to add on to their advantage. 
Gold able to tack on the extra point, and it's now 14 to nothing. Now after the touchdown, here's Gonzalez on to kick it away. They'll elect to bring it out here from the end zone. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. The Broncos onto the field, ready to start their next drive. Well, Charles, it's kind of gut check time. Look, I know it's early first quarter, just their second drive of the game. The ball popped in the air and intercepted. Picked up by nine-time pro bowler Ed Reed. A great pick, nice return, but you know he's just beating himself up inside for not getting all the way in. No doubt about it, because he had visions of end zone in his mind. Going to be the total hero, but we did see there the emphasis on it's not just good enough to pick it off anymore. Bring it back, get the yardage, and really help out your offense. So the ball's moved to about the one after the penalty, first and goal. They'll run with Allen. And he is into the end zone for a touchdown. Marcus Allen with his second touchdown in this opening quarter as his guys have opened up a very comfortable lead. Gold with the extra point, and that makes the score 21 to zip. So how about this for a start? 21-0 here in the first as they kick this one away. And he won't return this one. He'll go down to a knee, and they'll start at the 25. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. On the move past the 40. And he will finally be escorted out of bounds down inside the 45. A huge play there for Denver. 42 yards. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10 just outside the 30. Here's Ryan to throw. This pass is caught by London. And they will eventually get him down, but he's inside the five all the way to the three. Now Ryan. And here's another interception, the third of this first quarter. Picked up by the six-time pro bowler, Eric Allen. The 30. 10. And he will take this one home. It's a touchdown. Charles, it is pretty rare that we see a team build this kind of lead in the opening quarter. And, man, they seem to be clicking on all three phases right there. The defense doing its part with the pick six. And it's absolutely been the definition of a start that you would pick for yourself and for your team. Gonzalez now to kick this one away. And a fair catch signaled for and taken successfully. The Broncos onto the field ready to start their next drive. They are looking to make a bit of a 180. They are sputtering right now. And frankly, I think it's time to call your playmakers together and say, all right, guys, we're going to lean on you through this patch. We need you to get us back on track and get us going in the right direction. So you're calling plays geared to them. Not necessarily what you look at your plays. Oh, this hurts the defense. I want the ball in the hands of X, Y, and Z and see if we can move forward. So don't get too cute. Go to the playmakers. Ryan. Incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. And not a common sight, at least on this drive. A momentary setback, though, for this passing game that has been moving well this series. Good thing for them, though. Still two more downs to connect and try to pick up another first down. Throw left side. There's London. 
And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. On first down, Ryan. That's caught. It's Gronkowski for a Bronco touchdown. An 11-yard touchdown. And the Broncos get a bit closer. I'm not sure that they have illusions right now. Of, okay, we're going to score eight times in a row. We're going to be terrific. But to get one, that was huge for them. That has to feel much better right now. And, you, and for the fourth time tonight, it's an interception. Picked up by Marshawn Lattimore. It's interesting that when it comes to two-point conversions, even heavy run teams tend to throw the ball in these situations. In this case, this one was intercepted. Yeah, they weren't fooled. They were ready for the pass, picked it off. A fairly short kick from the 14. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. The offense back out there at the line, ready for their next drive. Right now, everything they touch turns to gold. This is their fourth possession. Touchdowns on their first three possessions. I mean, this defense, they can't seem to stop them. It's like they're on skates. Great analogy, Brandon, because they are pushing them back and winning everything at the line of scrimmage. They've just been laying down tracks towards the opposite end zone. So to themselves, all they're saying is, if we don't make a mistake, there's no way they can stop us. He's up over 50 yards receiving now in this first half. It's a first down. And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. Throwing on first down is Brady. And it's incomplete. Boy, he doesn't drop many like that one. Second down. And he's certainly not a guy that drops that football very often. Indeed, because that's a bit of a surprise. I know he's in the middle of some traffic and people, bodies all around him, but he usually has the focus to haul that one in. Here's Allen. And a good run here as he'll rumble all the way down to the 40-yard line. 56 yards rushing for him now with a couple of touchdown runs to boot. On first and 10, here's Brady. Looking for the out route, he's got it, complete to Kittle. And he's gonna be out of bounds down around the 35 yard line. He'll go down as a gain of six, and it'll be second down. Now Brady. Looking for Johnson, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Champ Bailey. And the Broncos are going to take possession of the football. So that changes things. You get the interception, and then to boot, a good return tacked on. And really, it was down to him versus the quarterback on the return, and that's one you would think the defender would win. But a nice job there of seeing the play all the way to the end of making the tackle by the QB. And for the fourth time tonight, it's an interception. The Hall of Famer, Ronnie Lott, picks it. And a very good return as he takes us all the way up to the 35-yard line. Well, CD, you know, when you mentioned earlier about spreading the ball around in this game, I don't think you mentioned the guys in the other uniform. With four interceptions here in the first half. Looking for Johnson, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Champ Bailey. So really the first speed bump that this offense has encountered, they've had the rule of the roost here in this first half, but now slowed up just a bit by the interception. And there's a chance that that's a wake-up call for them because you don't want to go on autopilot too early. That team on defense is capable of making some plays similar to the one they made right there. And a really good show of force there as he gets through for four tough yards. On second and goal, Ryan. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. I hate to say it, Charles, but the way that he has played in this first half, you just kind of hold your breath every time he drops back to pass. Yeah, you might be holding your breath, but those guys on the defensive side of the ball, they've got big smiles on their faces. He's handing out picks like the people just leave the candy out at Halloween and you take what you want. They're having a blast out there playing against him today. And now the third down throw incomplete as well. How about the coverage we just saw him break out on third down? Dime defense, blanketed the field with extra defensive backs and speed. 
Unable to find an open hole to complete that pass. They'll try and throw for it with Ryan. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked off by the Hall of Famer, Ronnie Lott. And he will take this one home. It's a touchdown.